What's up you guys? This is Junior Trader and in this video we have a new kid on the block guys that is Zeker. A competition to other EVs maker especially Neo. Now guys wait there's more. So eight months ago I did a video Neo in danger. This EV company is coming for Neo. If you have seen this video, you already know about it. And let me show you a quick snippet out of this video because I talked about Zeker eight months ago. And then we'll jump into a lot more information on that. This video is about watching out for one of the EV brands from China that might be coming for existing players. Let it be Neo, Leoto, or Xpeng. And that EV maker is Zeker. Now, I don't know if you have seen my video where I covered about Zeker that they are soon gonna be filing. Here we go. They're gonna be soon filing their IPO listing um, as with the you know Chinese securities for US listing. Here we go. So this was the article, you know, you can check it out as well. Um, and I'll leave the link to it in the description below of this Zeker. Um, so guys, the thing is that why we should be watching out for Zeker and let's kick it off. So Zeker starts pre-sales of Zeker 001 and Zeker X in Germany after Sweden and Netherlands. So they are also expanding globally. You know, it's just not Neo, it's just not other EV producers. And something that I want to bring to your attention is, we'll jump into this article as well, um, the Zeker monthly deliveries. So they were going quite nicely, like until December, January, they saw a dip. Then they started to crawl back up their way again, and they have taken out the all time previous all time high pretty much. And sitting at around 12,303 EVs in August, which is still awesome, right? It's up from July, already 2.19%. And July is when they broke the old all time there, you know, uh, sales there. All right, guys, so you saw that snippet of the video over there. And you can check that video out on my channel. It's still up there. I mean, I keep all my videos up there. Um, so, yes, Zeker is finally has done its debut in New York Stock Exchange and here we have the technicals. Now look at it, Zeker is like almost $30 and Neo is like $5.42, Junior Trader, what's going on, right? Well, so here's the thing, even if Zeker is a new kid on the blog, they, their deliveries has been good. Um, you know, I can show you a couple of things there as well. So guys, here's the side-by-side -side comparison on the Zeker and Neo's monthly deliveries. So Neo, does what 14,000 to you know at, in the good days it has done 16,000 but usually their average falls around per month deliveries um, on average this guy's at let's say 10,000 okay it's a little bit lower than that they fluctuate but let's say 10,000 and Zeger is not behind guys look at it it has been doing over 10,000 easily these monthly deliveries and now 16,000 but uh, is this the only reason that why Zika price is at $30 and a new is like what $6 or so or just shy of $6? Well, no, not really. When it comes to the technicals and not just technicals, but stock trading and uh, you know, the technicals, why certain thing is price based is where it is. It's not solely just the price. It's also about the float. So shares outstanding on Zika. This is Zika. Shares outstanding on Zika is are just 244 million while on Neo they are 1.91 billion all right so that is like quite a lot quite a lot that's already like four times more than what Zekers have as a float so the reason that Zeker has a lower float and this is newly IPO'd. The volume as it's coming strong on this, there is a lot more. The volatility will be there because there are less shares to go around. That means with higher demand or higher volume trading, the spread between the bid and the ask is also going to be high. And that will lead to with the higher volume, these uh, you know upsides. But yes, it has also IPO'd at a quite a high price as well. It opened up at what, $26, right? So at least the, um, yeah, the, the opening price, right? 
So this thing, as for where it is, it's purely a technical play, but I'm still showing you the reasons that Zeker would be more volatile than Neo just because they have less shares outstanding. So a little bit of volume, even if it comparatively the same as Neo, uh, this would move it more than Neo, and you will see swings in the price. And it's still very new. I will we can just trade with this technicals, and with that, let's jump into the technicals. What are we seeing? So we have a clean breakout too. Candles in a newly IPO stock will not tell you much. So let's go to the um, hourly interval and let's do a couple of things. So my indicator has tried to mark already some levels to watch on this. Very simply put it, guys, you have this trend line going on this. So it's losing that trend line right now on the hourly interval and the school off is coming. So the thing is that yeah, if it's it's below the trend line, so you can create the downward trend line here right now. Or as long as it's below the trend line, you can you know look on the short side at least intraday. It's too very it's very young chart. There's no point in swinging it, but uh, trade it level by level. But yeah, right now it's looking weak, and um, this thing is. Let's go to the five minutes actually real quick because I just wanna check something here real quick. And this is, yeah. So uh, yeah, as long as it's below that trend line, intraday you can try to trade it as well, you know, to the downside, but you know, watch this 200 moving average coming on the five minutes as well. And if it holds, that's fine. But if it loses this level of let's say 29 and 85, expect downside continuation and or um, if it goes above let's say level of thirty dollars and 36 cents you can trade off of until the next level or the bottom of the trend line this is a very young chart but it has lost the trend line so downside can continue if you are you know just want to trade technically like we are have lower highs lower lows and if structure starts to change or forms a support consolidation and starts to break structure back to the upside then uh, that will be the change of structure and accordingly position needs to be changed but it's very young chart Again, Zeker, though they have been selling pancakes type, well, like a pancakes, they're selling off their vehicles. They, their delivery numbers are great. I showed you technically, you know, the price where it is at doesn't mean that it has to catch up with Neo to the downside. Um, it just means that technically, it's just too young of a chart and volatility will be there. It has less of a float, so it will have higher bid and the spread, so things will move quite rapidly as well. And a stock like NEO to bring it back up, it requires a lot of volume and trust and the momentum to push it up again, right? Demand and supply. So the thing is that because it also opened at $26, so demand and supply would accordingly catch up to it, right? It's not that if it opened at 26 and it's worth $10, the next is gonna be at $10 now, right? Because how many shares will go in and out, it depends on the volume and the technicals of, on the basis of, of that, but anyways, I just wanted to show you that there is the Zeker and just keeping an eye on this and you can see as we have broken the trend line let's see how how lower cool off may come and accordingly level by level things can be traded with the stop loss on the other side all right guys i'll keep covering this but this is all for this video if you found it helpful valuable hit the like subscribe and i'll see you in my next videos guys take care bye